artistically, it's become uh, the art center, actually, of all of America because of our positive things like that that go on. But there's an awful lot going on here musically, a lot of it underground. And um, I, I can think of many, many different genres of sound that are emerging. Where we're lacking are the small clubs. When I first came here, people like Gary Campbell, the jazz saxophone player, and a number of other people were appearing in jazz clubs all over town. They've all folded up, they're all gone. And the last one was the, the one that was the, uh, oh, the one on Van Lincoln Road, the Van, Van, Dyke. Van Dyke. What a loss that was. Um, so that, that, in one sense, uh, one gets a feeling, well, jazz, well, music is, is declining or it's not here, but it is here. It's very prominent. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of chamber music concerts that appear all over the city. Mm -hmm. Good ones. You know, go back to, uh, to our friend Julian, who's doing, who did it for a long time. Well, other people have picked up on it now, and that's appearing all over the city. Some of them new music concerts, some of them doing more traditional things, but that's around. And the reason I leap in and say, no, no, you're not right, is because my phone doesn't stop ringing with requests for my music in this thing and that thing, and it's happening all over the city. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about living down here. I didn't know what I was getting into when I came here. I thought it was going to be a cultural desert. Or uh, when people live in New York, they think of Miami. In the old sense, it was like, this is where Jewish people retired and I'd find music from people on rocking chairs. Oh no, far from it. Michael Tilson Thomas does wonderful stuff here. And yes, we lost the Florida Philharmonic, big loss. But other things are up and running and taking its place. Is it at the forefront of the music scene in the, in the country? No, that it's not. But there's a lot going on.